So in addition to figuring out why you're doing this, crafting your product story, the next step is to understand what's called our sharing process. And this is the part that takes all the mystery out of it. You're going to love it. What happens between the time that you are courageous enough to say something about Juice Plus to someone, what happens step by step between then and the time the person orders or the time you realize you have to say next and it's not their time? What happens? We have a step-by-step -step process. We have a document here that you can look at that will help you. Essentially, there's like a sort of like a skeleton or an outline that you always want to follow. And you want to memorize it so that if I said to you, hey, Mary, I heard you were talking to Jennifer about Juice Plus. Where is she in the sharing process? Mary, I heard you're talking to Joe about Juice Plus. Where is he in the sharing process? You want to know it so well that you can say, oh, this is where they are. I just shared a video and I'm following up on Thursday. Oh, this is where he is. I just asked him if he'd be open to hearing my story. So in the sharing process, we have a few lines that you want to tattoo on your brain, right? They aren't sales tactics. They're not gonna get someone to order because we don't do that um, and that doesn't work anyway. But here's what they do make sure. They are a promise that you will feel centered. You'll know what you're doing. You'll know what you're, where you're going. You'll know what the next step is. So you won't feel anxious or uncomfortable. Well, you might feel a little uncomfortable. You won't feel anxious about it because you know what the next step is. And the person you're sharing with will feel very comfortable and they will feel like they are in charge because they will be. This is a way to allow the person that you and I are talking to to be in control and, and to have you just as the guide. This is how this is not traditional sales. It will feel good to them. It will feel good to you. One of the biggest fears we have, right, as new people in this business is I don't want to be pushy and I don't want to be salesy. You can't be if you follow the sharing process. So a couple of the sentences or taglines that you want to memorize would be, I have no idea. I thought of you because. Would you be open? If I would you. And then when you're following up, what did you like best? What did you learn? Are you ready to get started? Those are sentences that are gold in this business. Remember, they're not in an attempt in any way to get people to do anything they don't want to do. That's why people love us in Juice Plus, because we just ask great questions and we give them as much information as they need so that they can make an informed decision. Even if that decision is a temporary no or a forever no, we're okay with it. That's why people like us. That's why they like interacting with us. And that's why you will love this because you're never going to feel like a pushy, annoying salesperson. So this is very important. What I have found in the last 10 years of growing a very large business in Juice Plus is the people who struggle in this part of sharing are the ones who are not following the sharing process. The people who say, I'm talking to people, but I'm not getting orders. I'm talking to people, but I'm reaching out, but they're not following the sharing process. So again, follow it like a recipe and you will get the cake.